Last night I got a call from a friend of mine and he said, yo, you want to go fishing? The only bad part is the fishing spot is four hours away. Yep, four hours away. But the only reason that I'm going is because this is one of the best place for toes. I'm talking about big fish, like more personal best uh, bass. This is uh, called Smith Mountain Lake and that's where I'm going today in Virginia. Alrighty guys, we are in Walmart right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not, not allowed to be filming, but uh, I got this ginormous camera. It's a big Canon. It's so awkward. Just like looking at people, looking at me. I got this big huge camera. Anyway, uh, where I'm at is real deep, so I'm going to go back here because I'm a little low on deep diving crankbait, so I'm going to get some more really nice deep diving uh, crankbaits. Hopefully that'll get the job done tomorrow. Uh, so, let's go. Uh, huh? I'm a YouTuber. What's that? I, I, then I post them on YouTube. Yeah? And then I like... What does that do? I'm a uh, fisherman. Yeah? A YouTube fisherman. Right. Uh-huh. So it dives three to five feet. Is yeah. That deep? That's, that's pretty good. This one's 15. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so when I go home, I'll post this and then it'll be on YouTube. And I'll, I'll use this here at Smith Mountain Lake mm -hmm. and then I'll post it on the internet. And then what will I do? And then it's fun to look back in two or three years and you can see me catch fish. <laughs> yeah, it, it's something I've picked up. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Just go home and. Yeah. So, you, so do you. Good morning guys, it is about, we're about to go uh, fishing, I got the GoPro all mounted up, I got some, I got a big deep dive and crankbait last night as you saw, and so we're about to go fishing, I'm super excited, the bad part is, is I kind of overslept, it's only 7 o'clock, but still, I would like to be out there by now, but uh, let's go fishing. Finally time to go fishing. I'll catch y'all at the lake in just a second. You guys look at how beautiful this place, this piece of property is. It's got the water. Hopefully it's got good fishing. I got the loose. Those guys are weed whacking. That's really annoying. But anyway, hopefully we'll catch some fish in just a second. Alright guys, we're pulling up to the spot. It's like I said, it's super deep. This is not even the real fishing spot, but hopefully I could at least catch one one or two off off this little place today. I'm gonna go ahead and first cast. I don't have too much faith in this spot, but uh hopefully there's somebody lurking around these docks.
what I'm doing right now is cranking. So a lot of the times these rocks hold the heat. So I'm trying to wiggle and waggle. What was it? What did I say? I'm trying to wiggle this crankbait right beside the rock. So hopefully I can. Uh, there's a schooling, schooling bass up here. I probably don't make any sense, but I'm just trying to, just trying to get a theory here. I don't know if you can see the crankbait in there, but it looks so good. So back home, I've been fishing a lot, and the crankbait has been the juice lately. I caught a seven pounder off of it. I caught, uh, I caught over 19 fish off of this exact same crankbait. I caught a seven pounder and a four pounder just in the past couple months. So I'm hoping the crankbait. I mean, just the past couple of weeks, I'm hoping the crankbait will be good here as well. Alrighty boys, we are finally at the spot. This is the uh, spot that I'm hoping to catch, actually catch some fish on. This morning didn't do too good. Uh, didn't catch anything, fish for a while. Had the chatterbait on, used cranks and jigs, but I uh, didn't catch anything. So right now we're gonna go to the spot. It's about a 30 minute hike <laughs> through the woods. Plenty of deer and squirrels and bears. And, uh, yeah, hopefully catch something this time. I, I got a little more faith in this spot. So, anyway, here we go. All these mountains are still new to me. I'm a flatlander, so these hills are really cool to me, but I'm just not used to them. I'm used to walking with, I'm walking on flatland, not up and down these mountains and hills. And this stuff is hard. Walking on mountains is harder than it looks. But yeah, we got about 20 minutes left to go to the lake. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Really cool mount mountains are really cool. I love them, but just not used to them. Alrighty, guys. Just made it here to the spot. Oh, dang, there's a snake right there. No joke. I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but there's a snake right there in that bush. <laughs> well, anyway, I just got here to the spot. It actually looks really juicy. Uh, the walk was about 35 minutes long, and uh, I saw a group of 15 deer, so that was pretty cool. Anyway, let's get to fishing, because uh, that's why y'all clicked on this video. All right, so like I told y'all before, I've never been here. I have no clue where I am. I don't even know if there's any fish in here. So, hope for the best. It is, you can't see that, but uh, it is 7-12. Um, well, I don't know how to say this, but I didn't catch anything at all. I fished for two hours. Uh, we got a big hill to climb. It's about to get dark in about 20 minutes, and I got a 30-minute walk back, so I guess I'll be walking with the bears and the deer. But anyway... Uh, yeah, that sucks. It's great fishing. It's just I can I can barely get any casts through here. I found a dock over there. I was able to get on the dock and make a couple casts, but kept hearing them on the top. Kept seeing them jump out of the water, but so I had the whopper plopper on. I tried the crankbait. I tried swim bait. Nothing worked. So we're gonna come back tomorrow, or I am we'll come back tomorrow. Maybe hopefully early in the morning and do a little better i want to at least catch one fish for y'all really really bummed out that i didn't catch anything today you 
Yo, yo cows. You know where the fish are? Where do you, where do you think they're at today? Where do you think I catch them on? Okay, he, that that one that one doesn't know. Maybe that's this one. You know what the fish are biting on? Has anyone said what the fish are biting on? No, you don't know either. Cause I certainly don't. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Southern Batson. Uh, we're coming back with another video. Well, I guess it's the same video, but another day. Uh, I'm about to head in the woods. We got a 30-minute hike again. Yesterday I fished till eight o'clock and didn't catch anything. Fished for three hours, didn't catch anything. Uh, but I'm going down today. I really don't know if I'm gonna catch anything again. But I'm gonna try to throw this uh, Texas rig yum dinger and uh, hopefully that'll be the juice today. Still really don't know, but uh, I asked the cows, but they didn't know, so. Well, boys, I traveled four hours to get here and I did not catch any fish today but we got a beautiful place here look at how pretty it is mountain sun lake just no fish <laughs> this place would be perfect if only I could catch a fish but we're coming back tomorrow so I think I get the job done hopefully tomorrow but yeah, I got a 30 minute walk back home and the sun's going to be down in about 20 minutes, so here we go. Oh look, there's deer up there. There's about 20 deer right there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this place is beautiful. Alright, so let's go over game plan. Uh, so I traveled four hours here. Well, not actually to this spot, but I traveled four hours here to the mountains um, and so basically all fishermen have excuses why they didn't catch any fish so I have three excuses number one was when I got to the real spot I always got there too late I always got there at like you know 10 30 9 o'clock I always got there too late so that was, I'm pretty sure it was my main reason. That was the biggest reason why I didn't catch any fish. So the next reason was, dang it, I forgot. Um, oh, next reason was where I was, there was nowhere to cast. Like it was basically like fishing in the woods. So uh, I know that's not the greatest excuse because I still had two I had two little teeny areas where I could fish. I fished those hard. I fished with a wacky worm, Texas rig, crankbait, whopper flopper, anything you could think of. I had a uh, chatterbait. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I'm really disappointed I didn't catch any fish for y'all. Well, hopefully, you still enjoyed. I'm sure you did enjoy just as much as I do. I still love coming out here and fishing. Just playing around and it's something, beautiful out here now. It's something you don't see back home but uh yeah we would be doing plenty more bass fishing videos once I get home. Maybe some uh more bass catches. Alright thanks for watching. Peace out. I'll see y'all next time.